Hi all, just a follow up video. Um, as you know, last week I put out a video um, as I'd seen a, a thing on Facebook about um, a survey um, that was supposedly gonna go out to Tottenham fans in relation to the Y word and whether we should be keeping it or not keeping it and so on and so forth. So I did a little video um, because I felt that my from my point of view it's a bit pointless asking all Tottenham fans what they think of it because all Tottenham fans will probably turn around and go we want to keep it it's our identities where we come from and so on and so forth um, so my my view was we should ask um, just the Jewish um, fans what their view is because after all it's them that are offended by it as such supposedly um, so I've been posting this video all around uh, Facebook I put it on Twitter as well um, basically asking that asking that question so if you're a Jewish Spurs fan are you offended by um, the word Yid do you want it stopped um, or are you happy to, to continue with it um, needless to say I got a fair bit of uh, feedback from non-Jewish Tottenham fans as I thought I probably would pointing out all the reasons why we use it and the positive message it sends and uh, and so on and so forth and lots of defiance and, and, and everything else which I totally understand I, I get it I you know I don't disagree with it for one moment I personally personally and passionately believe that the whole reason for this um, in the first place is because of um, how diverse Tottenham is as a club um, we have fans from all over the world and we have fans from all different backgrounds and it's always kind of been like that it's one of the reasons that I was really attracted attracted to the club um, in the fact that I had uh, lots of West Indian friends going up and uh, lots of those West Indian friends were were able to come to football without fear of the National Front or British Movement or any of them idiots coming out and causing a causing them a problem. So <clears throat> again, so I get it. I, you know, I understand why it's important to um, non-Jewish fans to to make that to make that stand. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it needs to be the Jewish fans that feel that it's an appropriate thing. I wouldn't want to be doing something in the name of my Jewish friends that offends my Jewish friends, if you see what I mean. So for me, it was about, are we are we still doing the right thing? And I, if you're asking me personally, yes, I do. I, I, I do think we're doing the right thing. And I am um, yet to find a Jewish fan come up to me when I'm doing that saying don't do that I find it offensive it's never happened to me um, anyway I'm digressing I guess but the point is I've put this out there and um, thankfully because um, as you know this isn't the biggest YouTube channel there is but thankfully there was a a decent amount of feedback from people um, Jewish uh, Jewish supporters and non-Jewish supporters um, that had taken on board the message um, and looked at the question and tried to come back with an answer and I have to say I think I had one response uh, from someone who was who said they were Jewish who said it's time for it to stop and of course they're entitled to their opinion every other response that I had from um, supporters that are Jewish say they're Jewish or say they have Jewish heritage has been of a positive inclination so their view very much has been no we're not offended by this we like it because it shows the world that we are an inclusive club in fact I had a couple of comments from people saying that they only support Tottenham because of their links um, with, with uh, the Jewish community, because 
for whatever reason, maybe they live abroad or whatever, um, and they weren't so so aware of uh, Premier League football and, and what team. And because of the links to the Jewish community, they felt <coughs> that they could be part of that and, and support that club because of that. Which, to be fair, is as good a reason as any. I mean, most people support Tottenham because they were either born in the area or their family are, are from that area or their family have been supporters of the club. So, you know, I've, I've heard worse reasons to support a club. Um, so, yeah. And the other thing that, I, that, that, that came across, that came out that I, was, that I thought was really interesting was that uh, someone wrote to me, I, I, and I can't remember the, the person's name for definite, but they said that, that they were friends with uh, lots of Jewish fans of West Ham, Arsenal, Chelsea, and so on who actually, whilst they support the, that team, are actually quite fearful of making it known that they are Jewish because of the, uh, the attitude of, of other clubs and, and other club supporters. So which, it, again, I find really, well, I find it interesting. I find it really sad, I have to say, in this day and age, I find it really, really sad um, that people would feel like that or have to feel like that. But that's, that's the reality, I guess. So, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things. So it does seem that the need for um, Tottenham fans to stand up and be counted and say, we are Yids, we stand together with our Jewish fans, hasn't yet finished, you know? Um, and again, the absolute reality of all of this is that fans of other clubs don't sing the Y word. They sing things about Hitler. They make hissing sounds and all that kind of stuff. So I think maybe we should be asking fans of other clubs or the authorities to look into that kind of thing rather than worrying about whether someone calls themselves uh, the Yid Army or, or, or whatever. Um, a banning of the word on flags and so on you know I've had that myself where I had to cover the word on my flag um, so yeah so just to, just an update really just to, just to say that as I expected to be honest the vast majority of um, Jewish Spurs fans that have come back to me and answered the question to me are of a positive that they are not offended they do not want us to stop it Equally, of the non-Jewish supporters that came back to me, all of those people said that whilst they believed that there is still a need to use the word and felt that it should be allowed to continue and shouldn't be an issue, all of those people said that they would respect the views of the Jewish supporters. So I don't think you can say any fairer than that. So, ultimately, the answer to the question is, Tottenham, if you're going to put out a survey to ask the question, should we distance ourselves from this? Is it now time to stop? The question needs to be asked of the Jewish fans. And I believe the Jewish fans will come back, as they have in my snapshot, and say, no, we don't think it should be stopped because the authorities haven't been able to stop West Ham or Chelsea or Arsenal or Man United, whoever they are, from making hissing sounds and singing the, the, the Hitler songs and so on and so forth. So I believe the Jewish fans will be supportive of, of the use of the word. But equally, if it were to go that the Jewish fans said, no, we, we agree, we think it is time to do it, I firmly do believe that the majority of Tottenham fans, non-Jewish Tottenham fans, would respect the views of those Jewish supporters. Might take some time, because unfortunately there are lots of people, as to, well, as time goes on, I guess, as time goes on, and older guys <coughs> and girls that go football die out and understand the reason why we sang it, um, they leave and new supporters come, it becomes part of uh, it's a Tottenham song. Um, so people don't always understand the relevance and the reason why. So 
when that situation comes, you're going to have those people say, no, we need to keep it regardless. So it may be difficult to take away. But for those of us that were there at the start of this thing, where it all came out, I think the feedback I've had is we would respect it. But just to finish off, there is there is some comments that I did have from um, non-Jewish fans. Um, and what I've just said kind of sparked me to remember it. Was there was a there was a um, fan who came back and said we shouldn't stop it, it's just a just a Spurs song. Now I don't know whether that person really believed that or really did know that, but it kind of demonstrates my point that I've just made about the fact that you know the people that were there at the beginning of that won't be all there all the time so maybe rather than trying to stop people singing it we should be educating people to the reasons why we sing it and what it means to those people around us because remember some of us have stood next to Jewish people seeing them upset at the antics of, uh, of other fans feeling helpless to be able to hit back at that and that's where this stuff comes from and maybe that's where we need to be focusing our attention in terms of making sure people understand the reasons why and what makes us proud of that and maybe then and only then the term may change to something less offensive and just as supportive I don't know but interesting at the end of this video you'll see um, some of the comments that I've had I've tried to post as many as I could uh, for you to have a look at I also did a Twitter poll and that Twitter poll came out as uh, in the same lines very positive um, so have a look see what you think and if you've got anything to say about it leave a comment leave a like I'm glad to hear from you as we say, at the end of the day, I'm the Spurs.